the day the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. I'm your host, Pastor Amos Dada. I'm glad to be in your midst again, and I know God has something good for you. I'd like you to please call your friends, your neighbors, and all the people that have been enjoying this word of God together. The Lord God Almighty is here to enrich your life. Let's bow our heads and pray. Lord God Almighty, I just thank you because there is no other name given among men whereby we can be saved. The Bible says, at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. I bring you to every home of every hearer of this word, Lord. Lord, you have tagged this time of ministration, the hour of deliverance. And I'm asking, oh God, that as many as we see me, whether on this television or through the internet or during the people watching me right now in the church, I'm asking, oh God, that we touch their lives in the name of the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm so excited about what we are hearing and the testimonies of God that is coming from his own people. I want to deal with satanic attacks. <laughs> the topic I want to look at this afternoon is what I call dealing with satanic attacks. God has given me a message to humanity. It is that God wants you to be free, to carry. There is an assignment God made for you to do in life. There is something God created you for. You are not a mistake. You are not just born. But I have wondered in life why so many people are wandering in the wilderness of life. Why so many people are not doing what God has called them to do. And so many people die not even knowing the purpose for their creation. I don't know about you, but I want you to know that God has a plan for you. But just as the devil knew about this and worked against it, and you are not getting there, I have been sent of God to assist you. You know, God has a plan for Adam. The first thing, the first man God created and made that place beautiful for him. Still the ground, enjoy this one, name the animals and the birds of the air and so on and so forth. And he did it. But the moment he was enjoying what God has created, the Bible said, Satan came and deceived him and said, look man, what's going on here? I see you are enjoying all this one. Why not this? Why not this? And Adam succumbed to his wife. Bible says he looked at it. Look at the tree. He said it was good. 